Oh, sorry. Anyway, so no matter what happens, no matter what challenges may arise, remember, God is on your side. Because you're keeping the covenant, you're striving to please him. Somebody said the other night, and, and I want to use this when we talk. God does not want us striving for faith. God wants us to rest in his faithfulness. <laughs> it puts a whole different spin on trusting and leaning on God. Sometimes, you know, we act like the characters in The Wizard of Oz. I do, I do, I do believe, I do believe, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do believe. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I believe, I believe, I believe. I mean it, I mean it, I mean it this time, I believe. And God is saying, sit back, lean back, and rest. Rest in my faithfulness. My faithfulness will overshadow your doubt. My faithfulness will bypass your fears. You can rest in God's care for you. The Bible says, casting all your care on him, for he cares for you. God is so attentive. He knows our every fiber in our being. He knows what's broken in us. He knows what needs to be fixed in us. He knows what we are taken aback with, what, what we stumble over. He knows why we stumble. He knows why we're weak. He knows why we wallow in self-pity. He knows why we're afraid. He knows why we're so easily intimidated. He knows why we have the can't help it. He knows why we tend to want to quit at the first sign of a struggle. He knows why we get upset over that and over that and over that and over that. He knows why we are so sensitive in these areas. He knows. So when we become Christians, and this is for some of you who, who may think that the reason you can't live saved is because you can't be perfect. Well, join the club. Nobody can. But you can strive for perfection. You can press in and do all you can. You can give it your best shot. And that's what God wants. That's what God wants. The blood of Jesus, the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ makes up for all the rest where we fall short. <laughs> So, rest in the faithfulness of God. Don't struggle, strive, and beat the dust trying to be, trying to believe. I believe, I believe, I, I believe, I tell you, I believe. Mm -mm. Rest. Ask God to help thou. You're talking to God. Help thou, mine unbelief. There will always be areas in your life where you where you have to deal with doubts and what ifs, fears. That's because you are human and you are born and shapen in iniquity, which means you are born imperfect. So what you do with that imperfection determines how far you get with God, if anywhere. So you just keep pressing in. You talk to him. You know, oh, thou mighty God, you don't have to go through all that religious mumbo jumbo. You sit down and talk with him, just like you talk to your buddy. Talk to him. You know, Lord, I was trying to figure out blah, blah, blah. Can you help me understand that? Because that doesn't make sense to me. I don't like when things like that happen. I know you're trying to help me grow, but it, it, it doesn't mean I got to like it. You know, so would you help me? I mean, help me grow up. I know I need to mature in these areas. But I don't like what you're doing. I know you know what you're doing. I don't like your methods sometimes. 
So help me trust in your faithfulness. Help me trust in your love and, and, and your desire to bless me so that I don't take every bad thing in life as you punishing me. Help me understand your love. Sometimes I don't get it all. Sometimes I don't know what love really is. Be real. I mean, be real. That's where you meet God is in the realness of what comes out of your mouth. The truth that comes out of your heart. Jesus said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. 